Hi guys, so um, it is April 23rd, which means it's been four months post-surgery, um, and I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, so my voice sounds weird because I'm getting over the very tail end of a cold, um, and I've been coughing a lot, so I apologize. Um, anyway, so update. Um, I haven't been to the doctor since my last update. I will see him actually in a month from now, so um, five months post-op, um, which will probably be when my next video is. Um, but I um, wanted to give you guys a little bit of story about how my first few flights went post-surgery um, because, yeah, just because. Um, so my first flight post-surgery was back in February. And that was from O'Hare to Las Vegas for a work conference. Um, and um, going through O'Hare Airport, um, I had to wait to go through the body scanner um, because of my medical device. Um, so I went through the body scanner. Something showed up on their end to be in my jean pocket, even though I didn't have anything in my pocket. And... Um, so the lady's like, okay, do you have a medical device? I said, yep. And she goes, okay, would you like to be pat down right here or would you like to go to a private room? I said, right here's fine. Um, so I got an extensive pat down right in the middle of O'Hare Airport um, because they couldn't do anything else. Um, they couldn't use the metal detector wand um, because of it. Um, so they did their job. I didn't have anything else on me, um, but it took a while and all my stuff was backing everybody else up. So it was kind of embarrassing, um, as far as that goes. Well, pat down, I could care less, whatever. Um, it just took a while. So after that, gathering all my things, putting them in, in their places like my laptop and putting my shoes back on, etc. Um, anyway. After that, I was fine. Um, flying back out of Las Vegas um, was actually more smooth than flying out of O'Hare. Um, even though I had a last minute flight change and had to run to get to my gate, um, it was a lot more smooth. Um, and then in March, I flew to Denver um, out of Midway. I had absolutely no issue. Um, except for the fact that, no, I had no issue there at all. Um, no, that was the airport where I had to wait probably about 20 minutes, um, for somebody to come and man the body scanner because I, I guess they went through a shift change or, um, I don't know what the deal was. It was early in the morning and, um... They had just opened the lane I got to, so I'm like, hey, let me be the first person through this. Um, so got all my stuff ready. I was expecting to go through the body scanner because there was somebody standing there waiting, but they didn't have anybody on the other side to check the screen. And so she asks me, um, is there any reason why you can't go through the metal detector? I said, yes, I have a medical device. And so she said, okay, can you please wait? I said, sure, no problem. And so I proceed to watch about 50 people go through the metal detector as I sit there patiently waiting. Um, there was some, um, she had to ask the same question of every single person going through the metal detector because that's her job. Um, asking them, is there any reason why you can't go through metal detector? And there were some people that, that knew that that was her job and just said no and went on through. Well, there's some other people that would make some snide remark about them, oh, I'm not old enough for that or I don't even remember what the comments were and she would sit there and roll her eyes like whatever um, and I would just sit there back and sit back and laugh because um, like these this 50 year old guy would say I'm not old enough for that and me sitting there 29 years old um, I'm not 60 years old and I can't go through the metal detector so um, some just the way people think um, sitting back and watching that just it, it cracked me up anyway once they had somebody manning the body scanner, I was fine, went through no problem, um, gathered my things that had been sitting there for 20, 20 minutes, um, and went on my way. 
And then flying back out of Denver was absolutely no issue at all. Um, and then, okay, so the reason I'm telling you this is because I fly internationally for the first time since surgery on Wednesday. Um, I'm kind of nervous about that because not necessarily flying out of O'Hare nervous, but flying into countries that I don't know how to communicate. Hey, medical device. I'm sure they run into people that have medical devices. I, I'm sure of it. But um, it still makes me a little bit nervous um, and not being able to um, explain what my device is. I don't even know if I'll have to. Um, but it's still in the back of my mind. I have to take my um, my booklet that came with my magnets to explain what my device does. Um, and then I'll have my card with me um, that, that has the date and my doctor's name on it of when the device was um, surgically implanted um, so that I have proof that it's nothing more than a medical device. Um, so yeah, um, I'll also have Leslie with me, so that'll be a, a little bit more comforting that I'll have someone there that knows me, um, that I'm not just doing this on my own, um, so that I guess I have backup. I don't know. <laughs> it just, it helps comfort me knowing that, um, I'm not doing that on my own. So, um, yeah, there's an airport update. Um, as far as my voice is concerned, it's still... <coughs> 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 excuse me, talking too much, um, it still wavers when my device is on. Um, when I was sick, I didn't notice it, but as I started getting better, um, I noticed my voice um, went back to the vibration um, when my device was on, so um, I don't honestly think that's going away. Um, it's been a month since I've seen my doctor, and it's still doing this. Like right now, uh, um, I can feel it too. Not only hear it, but feel it um, anytime I talk. So it gets kind of exhausting talking for a long time. I could go get my magnet and turn it off, but I've actually never used my magnet. So um, it would be real, really interesting to see how that works. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, Trying to think if I have any other updates. Um, I haven't seen many changes with my new meds. Um, while I was sick, I took the liberty of myself not being on them for a little bit um, so that I could take other meds to make me feel better. Um, my doctor's probably not going to like that very much, but I needed to feel better quicker. Um, so yeah, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Um, so I'm... I'm back on my meds, the new meds that they gave me a month ago. Um, so I don't really have an update on those either. So, um, I don't know what else to, to talk about. I realize I've said um about 15,000 times in this video. So, um, here's another one. I should probably stop talking. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your Sunday, and I'll check in with you guys in a month. Bye!